All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got a rant here tonight. Uh, the Dodgers lose six three to the Cubs. Horrible freaking loss here tonight. A winnable freaking game, and the Dodgers choke it away with their horrible defense in the eighth inning. Horrible managing from Dave Roberts. We're gonna break it down here tonight on that shell. Stupid. First, it starts, and this this is where the disaster starts. Alex Vesia Hart never goes over an inning. Dave Roberts puts him in the game, okay, put, has him go an inning, and then he puts him out for another, tried to go another inning, he walks him in the first bound four pitches. And then we take him out for Evan Phillips. That was a horrible decision as well, I thought. Yeah, Evan Phillips has done good over the last little bit, but you put in Michael Kopech there. I don't care. You, you, you've never even named a closer. That's why I wouldn't even bring this up. But you haven't named him the closer, so you should put him in the eighth inning there. Dave Roberts. And also, Austin Barnes, that play of Swanson, you got to make that play. That'd be one out. But instead, you rushed the throw when you didn't need to. Should have not rushed it, and you would have had him. I think KK, was it, it was even KK or Rojas had an easy play. You could have threw it to first, got the second out. Instead, they try to go to second. They drop the ball, gives them the lead. And then Edmund made an error, just a disaster. Just a horrible freaking loss. On a night, Yamamoto returns and goes four, score, four innings of one-run ball with eight strikeouts. Horrible, man. Horrible. This was a freaking winnable game. We've lost the first two games of this series. Dodgers better stop freaking playing, messing around, and win this division. Like four games up. Can't be freaking messing around like this. Now we have to freaking avoid getting swept. But will we? I don't know. We have Bobby Miller pitching tomorrow. You fucking think we're going to win? Fuck no. Freaking game we should have won. And the Cubs' defense was great. Pecro Armstrong made so many plays. Ballinger, have, they have freaking defense all around the freaking outfield. And Rob, uh, Pete Crow Armstrong, Rob Max Muncy of a two-run homer, and they've, and they've now won 10 of their last 11, 11 road games. I guess they're just getting hot at the right time, I guess, 75 and 70. But a five-run inning, filled by three Dodger airs, cost them the game. Dodgers always want to freaking blow games when Yamamoto pitches. Every time Yamamoto pitches, the Dodgers, I don't know, they just can't fucking play defense, I guess. You know the Dodgers are freaking, we know, we're, we're no, you know we're in freaking postseason mode when they, the bullpen complodes and let down their ace, their ace pitcher. I'm not saying he's a full ace, but he could be. But I'm just saying in general, our ace could pitch a freaking six, seven inning shutout in the postseason and the bullpen comes in freaking chokes over the defense, like. I don't know. Joe Davis called the game winning catch. It was a hell of a hell of a great play by play calling from Joe Davis. But that was a really disappointing loss. And I don't know why the fans were booing Hodge when he could barely breathe and kept grabbing his chest. A freaking crow arms are a freaking monster in the outfield. The only positive tonight was Yamamoto. Uh, his return I get. But the only reason they get going more innings is because they want to build him up. Because I know it's early September, and they want to get him ready to talk for October. The positive was the velocity was really good. His breaking stuff was really good. Eight strikeouts through three innings. That was the really positive for uh, guests tonight. Um, just not make this a full rant. But there was positive. Uh, the only positive was Yamamoto. And Tommy Edmond hitting two homers. Um... Disappointing, but Yamamoto was good. Um, hopefully, I think he can be our ace in uh, October. I think he can really be our ace because they're going to build. They're slowly building him back up. First game back from the injury, but this is a game you got to freaking win. The Dodgers' defense wasn't, and they've lost the first two games this series, and they got to avoid a sweep tomorrow. Um, yeah, gotta give a, a GG to the Cubs. Um, their defense was really good. I'm not fully talking about the Cubs because I'm kind of pissed off as a Dodgers fan, but I want to give the credit to the Cubs while I'm not ranting about uh, the loss tonight. Uh, their defense was really good. 
Throw Arm Pre-Cody Armstrong is gonna be a freaking beast. Swinging the bat really well. His defense is freaking good. And their and their pitching showed up was pretty good besides the home runs there and that. The Dodgers really couldn't do anything off him tonight. Um, it's just frustrating. Because this is a game Dodgers should have won. And no excuses. I never give excuse for the Dodgers. When they when they play really good, I give them their credit. When they play really bad like this and have a meltdown inning, I'm here ranting about it. And I know it's getting late in the season. I just hope I, if dude, if this happens in the p fucking postseason, I'm gonna be freaking fuming. But it's a very encouraging day for their starter. Just unencouraging from the defense. Just sucks. But yeah, bullpen. Uh, it started off really well. Um, Ryan Brazier, one inning, no one hit, no one runs, no walks. He struck out one. Blake Trine, one inning, one hit, no one runs, no walks, no strikeouts. But that's where it starts. You got two scores there. But then it doesn't go well. Messia, he gets a scoreless inning. It comes back down for the start of the inning. I don't know why you don't put in a, a no pitcher to start the inning because Bessie never goes more than an inning. Bessie walks the batter, not even competitive. Then you put in Evan Phillips. I, want, I mean, I want to hate on the guy, but or I don't want to hate on the guy, but he had one earned run over his last what seventeen appearances. And I wouldn't even say this inning was his fault. It's just I would rather Michael Kopech in this spot. And he cut two hits, nine runs, one walk, one strikeout in an inning. It's just the errors. Tommy Edmond makes an error. Austin Barnes makes an error. Um, who was it? Miguel Rojas? I th or, uh, I think it was Miguel Rojas. Just frustrating. And then Gregorall comes in a scoreless inning with two hits. Um, the offense, he didn't get much from the top. Um, combined one for, one for 12. Otani 0 for 4. He hit the ball hard tonight. Just Pete Crow Armstrong made nice plays. Bates 1 for 4. Freeman 0 for 4. Edmund 2 for 4. 2 RBI plays 1 for 3. Will Smith pinch hitting 0 for 1. Rojas 1 for 3 and 1. Muncy 1 for 4 and RBI. Got Rod of a 2 run homer at the end. Great defense there from Crow Armstrong. KK 1 for 3. Barnes 1 for 2. And Gavin Lux. He sucks as a pinch hitter, but they put him in anyways. He went 0 for 1. Shota. One inning, uh, seven, um, excuse me, seven innings, seven hits, three earned runs, and walks, struck out four. Uh, he was pretty good outside of the homers. I thought he had a really great start tonight. But this is why I'm also frustrated. You get three solo home runs off uh, Shota Manga. You get, you're up three to one in the eighth inning. That's why I'm also frustrated. Because you get three solo home runs off a really good pitcher. And you get eight strikeouts from your ace over four innings in his first start back. And you then you, your defense just collapses. Pathetic. Um, Nate Pearson goes a scoreless inning. One hit, one earned run, no walks, no strikeouts. Pete, um, Porter Hodge. I think I uh, got the save. No hits, no earned runs, one walk, no strikeouts. Um... Ian Happ, 0 for 1, 0 for 4, 1 walk. Swanson, 0 for 5. Suzuki, 3 for 5 in RBI. Bellinger, 1 for 4 in a walk. Kratos, 2 for 5. Michael Bush, 0 for 4. Horner, 3 for 4 in RBI. I mean, their lineups just freaking killed us this series. I mean, it, our defense really killed us in this game. Last night wasn't a winnable game. Uh, like, this was a winnable game, and the Dodgers just threw it away. Crow Armstrong, 2 for 4, 2 RBIs, and Amaya, 0 for 3. You know, Cubs approached 75 and 70. Dodgers dropped 86 and 59. Just so frustrating. Just so frustrating. You, know, you should you should win and they just throw it away. So yeah, Cubs with that big five run eighth inning to um, win this game. Prove 75 and 70. They're getting hot at the right time running. The only runs the Dodgers could get tonight were on homers. Oh, um, yeah, just frustrated. But the Cubs are, they got a really good team. So, the Cubs are now 4-1 against us this year. So, 
Y'all yeah, avoid the sweep tomorrow, but I don't have any faith in it. Because Bobby Miller's pitching tomorrow, so. But yeah, it's a fun game to watch, you know. Imamaga, Imanaga, Otani, Suzuki, Peter Armstrong with three glove glove type catches. It was an exciting action packed game. It just didn't go the Dodgers' way. So, yeah, tough loss. But, oh well. Guess uh, on to um, tomorrow. Trying to avoid the sweep. And get their 87th win. Just avoid the sweep, I guess. Before they head to Atlanta and uh, Miami on uh, the road trip. So yeah, uh, that's all I'm going to say. Leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. Thanks, I'm Michael Light. Peace and GG Cubs fans.